Here are the properties of integration that you should know and will be using throughout your calculus career. Uh, let's just go through these one by one. So k if k is a constant, like 5, then the integral of a constant dx is that constant times x, plus, plus another constant if you're doing an indefinite integral. So for example, if I have the anti, or if I have the integral of 5 dx, then my answer would be 5x plus c. And that makes sense, right? Because if you take the derivative of 5x, you get 5. So that's the first one. So the, anti, the integral of a constant is just a constant times x. If you have the constant times a function, you're allowed to just pull that constant out front of the integral sign. And I use that one a lot. So that one happens very, very often. That's like a super useful one. I'm just going to star that one. Actually, all of these could probably get stars. So if you have a constant, you can just pull the constant out front. If I have the integral of a function plus a function or a function minus a function, I'm allowed to split that up between two different integrals. So I could integrate the first and then add integral of the second. So I'm going to give that one a star too. That one's pretty good. And this one doesn't come up so often, but um, you might use it, especially if you're integrating absolute values. This is when you're going to do this one. So it says if you're integrating from a to b of f of x, you can split up this integral at c, as long as c is in between a and b. So if you're integrating from a to b, you can integrate from a to c, and then integrate from c to b. So you can kind of split this up into two different integrals. And it's still going over the whole domain. So for example, if you if you wanted to integrate from negative 1 to 1 the absolute value of x, this is a, an example of when you would have to do that because the absolute value of x looks like this. And it's two different functions between negative 1 and 1. So what you would do is you would go from negative 1 to 0. That would be this chunk right here. And from negative 1 to 0, that's the function negative x. And then you would add on 0 to 1, and it would be this chunk right here. And that would be positive x dx. So that's an example of when you would want to use this last property. So there's a few other properties on here. There's like a, a comparison property, and there's like an absolute value property. Those don't come up too much in Calc 1, so I kind of left them out here. Um, if you really feel like looking them up, you can just look through your calculus textbook. But I think these four are the main ones that you're actually going to be using, especially these middle two. Well, actually, this first one too. <laughs> so these first three especially, and this last one only sometimes, but they're Important to know, your professor might ask you to state them on the test, but I don't know for sure. Okay, I hope you got something out of it. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day.